Hello, good day everyone. I'm Teps. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair video is a Samsung 40 inches smart LED TV. Model UA40H5303AR, not turning on and flashing red light indicator only. I'll show you how to fix it. If you like electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel. So make sure to like share and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. A continuously flashing red light indicator is mostly a power supply issue. So let's check the power supply. This jumper indicates 13 volts. Let's measure it. The voltage is 12.8, which is very near to 13 volts and it is stable. The 13 volts is good no problem with it. These diodes are the rectifier of the LED backlight. It's turning on to off. Let's remove the power board so we can test more of the voltages. Let's measure connector number 2 which is the UD. It turns on and off of 2.6 volts. Connector number 4 is PWM, BLU, and it has 0 volts. And the connector 6 is PS on and also turns on and off of 3.3 volts. The other connectors are the ground and the 13 volts. This diode is the rectifier of the 13 volts. The 13 volt supply is directly connected to the connector and goes to the main board. Since the 12.8 is stable, 
I think the power supply is no problem. So let's screw back the power board and let's go to the main board. Let's remove the main board so it will be easier to test the components. We going to measure the EEPROM voltage. The voltage is stable at 3.3 volts, seems we don't have a problem with the EEPROM voltage. Let's measure the DC to DC buck converter voltages. This buck converter voltage is 3.3 volts and it is turning on and off. This buck converter voltage is 1.1 volts and also turns on and off. This buck converter has zero voltage. This buck converter voltage is 3.3 volts and it is stable. Let's test the continuity of the buck converter that has no voltage. It's beeps, which means it is probably shorted. Mostly a shorted rail line is caused by a filter ceramic capacitor or the buck converter itself. You can determine a shorted ceramic capacitor by its physical appearance like burnt, darkened color, or a crack on it. However, I do not see any sign of the capacitors that have these conditions. So let's inject a voltage into the shorted line. We will use the 6 amp multi voltage transformer type power supply. It's set to 3 volts. I used this power supply in my previous videos and it works for injecting to a shorted line. The voltage is 4.1 volts because it is not regulated and that is just okay to use it. Injecting voltage into the shorted line is a method to detect the shorted component. The shorted component will create heat when voltage is injected. Let's clip the negative probe to the ground of the antenna connector, and the positive probe to the shorted line. Now let's do it. I will put my hand on the PCB board to feel what and where that heat at. I feel the heat in this area. Let's apply a candle to the area where I feel the heat. 
We can see the candle melt when the heat happens. Now let's inject voltage again. As you can see the ceramic capacitor melts the candle. Seems that is the component causing the line to have a short circuit. C1252 is the shorted capacitor. Now let's remove the ceramic capacitor using only of a side cutter. This ceramic capacitor is really shorted. Now the short circuit is gone. The resistance is 373 ohms now. For those asking how I will know the capacitance and voltage of the capacitor, it is a filter ceramic capacitor so 1 microfarad to 47 microfarad 50 volts will work. They are many ceramic capacitors that are connected to the line. Even if you don't replace the capacitor, it will still work. So let's try not to replace the shorted ceramic capacitor for this time and see if will work. Let's connect the power supply and try it. The red light indicator flashes evenly now. And the backlight lights up now. The line that has a short circuit before now has 1.5 volts. Let's screw back the main board and connect the panel and see if there is a problem if we don't replace the shorted capacitor. Seems the TV is working without any problem. Kapsi. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Even we don't replace the capacitor, there are many capacitors connected parallel to the line, without the one capacitor is not enough to disable the operation. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Please like share and subscribe. Once again this is Tefts, see you again next time, bye for now.